Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. As always, I'm really excited to showcase some fighting gameplay of Call of Dragons. As you can see, my alliance uh, still uh, pirates are pushing to this choke point where enemy is defending the situation really well. They have a lot of uh, legions around the battlefield with the turrets with the keeps so it will be exciting exciting for me to showcase how long-range warfare will perform in this kind of fights as always i will try my best to stay alive as long as possible and will try to get as much marriage as possible out of this fight let's see what's gonna happen well enemy just dropped the big behemoth which will be pretty disturbing for us but as always i'm trying to zoom out because that's the easiest way for everybody and for me to just deal damage and to understand where is my legion what i'm clicking and generally that's how i like to fight against mass pvp enemies of course it will be pretty hard simply because enemies just dropped the bear but let's see how much damage we will be able to do and how in general we are going to perform unfortunately this infantry player just came from our back but yeah he just got destroyed and we will still try to do a lot of things on the battlefield i'm not sure if it will be a wise idea for us to uh, deal damage to the behemoth but since our infantry players are moving up that's what i'm going to do of course i will try to avoid the bear uh, i mean simply because it will deal a lot of damage a lot of unnecessary damage to my legion uh, and yeah like i have mentioned many many times doesn't really matter how much damage you have if you are not staying alive longer that's impossible for you to deal damage and to the to get a lot of merits and that's why i always like to play with the uh, marksman like even before uh, we had long range warfare in the game i was marksman player and i have always mentioned that doesn't really matter how less long range warfare will give us the attack uh, simply it's amazing that archers are having same amount of uh, range as a mage legions well there is a usual talk that mages are kind of useless which i don't agree they are on the same tier as marksmen and like simply the long range warfare is a new thing for this game that's why i think uh, people are you know, leaning towards to the new things which we have in the game time by time i'm pretty sure this game will give us more opportunities to play with many different hero pairs and legion types uh, unfortunately this bear is just hogging my legions which is pretty unfortunate so let's just move back and let's just simply destroy this bear because it just deals a lot of damage a lot of unnecessary damage because i have not hit by any target any legion then still i got quite a lot of damage on my legion it will be amazing if my alliance members will drop tier of arbons uh, because it, it heals a lot right and it gives us a chance to deal more and more damage and yeah finally uh, this behemoth is almost gone and we will have a chance to fully fight against enemy uh, finally uh, the behemoth is gone and we will be available to deal damage to the uh, mage mages and the marksmen of the enemy uh, like i will i'm i'm always trying to move with my alliance members because that's the safest bet to deal damage towards the enemy like that's the uh, strategy i always have i'm not like single uh, player when like i'm not playing in a single player game mode whenever uh, i'm playing call of dragons this game is mass pvp it matters uh, how uh, coordinated you are towards your alliance members so like i i always try to speak that uh, doesn't matter how much damage you are dealing in duels if you are if you don't know how to fight with your alliance members you still need to get experience in terms of that this bear will be gone in couple of seconds and we will be available to deal damage to the enemy of course this fight is really awkward because they have a good choke point uh, they dropped behemoth and i'm pretty sure they will do it couple of times again because they should have 
uh, many behemoths in, in, in their arsenal, right? Uh, first push was hard because they have keep, they have a lot of uh, legions um, in, like behind the keep, a lot of turrets. We will reposition, we will try to kill this behemoth and after that we will take our attention towards the enemy. Uh, this guy just came out from this town and uh, he will take a huge damage towards himself. Uh, let's let's check uh, like whenever my legions will be done, how much merits we got out of this fight. It should be really interesting because from every single um, aspect of the fight we are getting pushed and like um, I think the main objective should be to defeat these behemoths which we finally did. Uh, of course this tier of Arbons is helping us a lot. Uh, simply because every single heal which you can get um, from the mass PvP is important because you don't want to run back uh, to your town every, every single time whenever you are fighting. Finally, enemy came out from the choke point. I don't think that's the wise idea and wise choice on how to fight against us because in general, whenever you are having a defensive stance, that's the perfect moment for you to be able to fight. And yeah, finally I see some mages, and whenever I see mage uh, legions and I'm marksmen, I'm always happy to deal damage towards them, because they generally have lowest amount of defense um, in terms of uh, defensive stats uh, in the game, and marksmen are just having a lot of um, attack, and that's why people are saying that mages become the one of the weakest legions in the game, which I 100% don't agree. The weakest legion type in the whole game is cavalry, and I think cavalry needs to be worked on because, yeah, like you simply rush in and it's hard for you to deal any damage simply because you don't have enough survivability to be able to be successful in mass PvP fights. Um, right now it will be awkward fight, people will go in and back um, whenever they will have a chance. Uh, we don't have infantry, they don't have infantry. Uh, in terms of pure importance uh, of the legion type in the whole game, I think infantry is the main and the most important legion type in the game because without infantry it's almost impossible to do anything uh, whenever you are fighting right now I'm trying to understand when to go in and when to not um, because there is no defensive uh, legion towards ourselves everybody is having uh, fights with their mages and I hope in the end uh, we're gonna see yellow merits report um, from my legions because yeah like that's always is what you want to see whenever you are fighting in mass pvp uh, on the battlefield finally we do see at least one infantry towards ourselves uh, let's hope uh, it will stay alive longer so we will be able to follow up but yeah in general that's not that easy uh, simply because we have a lot of ranged legions uh, behind the keep uh, or even behind our infantry player like I'm pretty surprised my legions are still alive after the behemoth drop, after the keep, after so many enemy legions, but still I think we are doing pretty fine because uh, it's really important to understand that staying alive uh, during the fights is the most important thing which you can do uh, for your alliance and for yourself because yeah, you are fighting because you want to win and you are fighting because you want to get more and more uh, merits. Right now we are simply waiting for our rally to hit um, the like infantry rallies are like best way to push not only the, just infantry legions even rallies can push the enemy legions back towards the uh, their territory so we are just going to try to understand when this rally will hit let's say uh, yeah rally is coming towards the battlefield we will have like couple of seconds uh, like chill out seconds uh, until the rally will be here and you guys will understand how important infantry uh, players are toward the alliance and yeah like in general if you don't have tier 5 infantry it's almost impossible for the alliance to be able to fight correctly because yeah, as I have mentioned many many times it's really really hard to push it's really really hard to defend because yeah everybody likes to deal damage everybody likes to have high score uh, merit numbers but if you want to be impactful if you want to do the most hard 
job which this game has in terms of fighting, you are going to play with infantry. It's so important that even me as a free to play player, even a marksman player, which I was before, even before long range warfare, I'm thinking of making my first um, tier 5 uh, units as an infantry unit because that's how much important it is. Now you will see what happens when um, infantry rally hits, uh, that's the uh, like uh, moment when you are going to push and yeah this cavalry player just came and they, he just wanted to die. Finally the push is happening, uh, I hope they won't gonna drop um, any more now uh, behemoths because we will be available able to deal damage towards them and get merits um, as always we will move forward with our infantry rally because infantry rally is like a shield to towards us uh, for us because that's how we will be able to do a push and yeah this rub simply because of this rally we, we are able to make a push even though enemy has this uh, keep which has like 15 legions inside and yeah like you can understand how important these uh, like infantry players are in like two five infantry players are uh, for the alliance right every single alliance leader is asking their players to have more and more infantry uh, because that's how much important it is finally we managed to make a push um, because these uh, players like enemy players are focusing on this rally and we have a chance to deal damage to them right uh, as always I will try to click on mages because that's their like for me they are the easiest target um, out of every single one of them uh, besides cavalry as I have mentioned many many times uh, that's like what my first time I have got targeted and like I will just move back and that's all we need to do uh, the rally just broke um, uh, my infantry players are moving forward they are using uh, the torque which is uh, helping them to taunt the enemy and whenever your alliance member infantry player is taunting enemy ranged units your job is to just destroy them right i'm not sure how enemy is still trying to uh, target my legion it should be almost impossible because i'm standing in a perfect uh, in a perfect perfect uh, position it's hard to touch me it's hard to click on me but yes still uh, you are getting damage because so we have in this game called artifacts which which is dealing a mass damage like even phoenix eye is dealing damage to five enemy nearby legions that's why even if you won't gonna get targeted that's how you will be uh, you will have damaged uh, legions towards yourself uh, we i'm gonna stand towards this uh, like tier of arbon whenever you're gonna see tier of arbon drop by your friendly uh, members you should move towards that space because uh, every single heal which you can get uh, on the battlefield is really really important and finally i'm seeing that my legions are getting low unfortunately but still i think we managed to stay alive for a long long time uh, I guess um, right now my main job will be to just click on these infantry players. Uh, I do see this infantry player coming towards the um, right side, which will be targeted. Uh, my legions are pretty low. Whenever your legions are really low, that's the uh, like time whenever you are dealing less and less damage. I'm gonna click on this cav because calves are easiest targets. Yeah, we are getting a lot of heals in this choke point, and yeah, I think it will be better for me to just move back, uh, choose better position. Uh, somehow these people are still targeting me, but yeah, you can see how easy it will be. If you will be cautious to not get targeted by everybody, um, like almost every single fight in this season, my strongest legion is the first one which is going to uh, die, which is my Nico and Kinara, as everybody understands and knows. Uh, I invested all of my legendary tokens towards the Nico and that's my single uh, like uh, awakened legendary hero which I have currently in the game. Of course I'm working on um, on my uh, Nico because it will be amazing if I will be able to have one uh, whole legion uh, with the full awakened skills uh, that's why I chose to do uh, like Nico on my VIP shop. I think it will be uh, my time to rest uh, for now uh, in terms of my legions because they are pretty low like of course this phoenix i would be amazing to use but i'm not sure if, if it will like if i will have enough time 
Um, it was a pretty amazing fight, we managed to stay alive longer and longer and that's the main idea whenever I'm fighting, I want to be alive as much as possible. Finally, uh, my every single legion is gone, uh, this push will continue, we are just starting this whole push, uh, let's see how much merits I managed to get um, uh, at the end of the day because that's the most important, uh, you saw how, how hard it was to fight against keeps, against turrets, against the behemoths, so still uh, we are seeing some yellows which is really amazing like 15,000 on my main legion 14,000 on a free to play 5111 uh, Syndrome and Fragar uh, my Craig is like of course awakened because it's pretty easy to awaken a epic uh, hero my Thea is like 5412 uh, Walder is awakened and Wellin is like simple like 5113 uh, free to play Wellin uh, yeah that's the merits I got um, out of 4 legions we have have three of the three yellows and that's what I have mentioned before if you see that on your reports during war you have yellow uh, merit score it means you did a great job and yeah like as I have mentioned many many times as a free to play players there is one dogma that you can't have fun as a free to play player but it's totally false I'm having tons of fun fighting even against tier 5 players you simply need to understand that it's, this game is not solo gameplay game uh, it's a mass pvp game um, alliances fighting against each other which means there will be a lot of uh, enemy and a lot of friendly legions so you need to understand how to behave how to move around the battlefield so you will be able to deal uh, damage to enemies of course i will show the hospital how much uh, troops we got uh, like 250 uh, k but that's pretty normal whenever you are fighting with four legions uh, in general i wouldn't recommend to fight with four legions but i managed to get more and more troops towards myself and even if my hospital will be full i will be able to get uh, more legions towards the battlefield uh, that's the pvp gameplay of call of dragons as i have said many many times I will continue making videos of the PvP of Call of Dragons, which will be, which is one of the most important and most fun aspect of the whole game. Uh, if you like the video, press like, subscribe, share. It always gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this game. I hope everybody will have an amazing day, morning or night, wherever you are. We are going to see each other very, very soon. Bye bye and good luck.